In this video, we'll write the formula for copper to nitride. So copper, that's a metal. It's actually a transition metal. And then the nitride here, that's the nitrogen. That's a nonmetal. So you have a metal and a nonmetal. That means it's ionic. And we need to think about charge when we write the formula. So let's write the element symbols for each first. Copper, that's Cu. Nitrogen, that's the N. Then let's write the charge. For the copper, it's a transition metal. That means it doesn't have a set charge. But they tell us the charge right here with this Roman numeral 2. So it actually has a 2 plus charge in this case. Nitrogen, that's always going to be 3 minus. So we have the charges, but this isn't the correct formula because these charges, they need to add up to 0 to have a net charge of 0. Since this copper 2 nitride, it's a neutral compound. We can use a little bit of a trick, though, to help us do that. It's called the crisscross method. Take the 2, put it here, and the 3 over here. Get rid of these charges. And that's the formula for copper 2 nitride, Cu3N2. Let's check our work, though. So we said copper, because it has this Roman numeral 2, had a 2 plus charge. And we looked nitrogen up here on the periodic table that had the 3 minus. So all the charge on the coppers here should cancel out the charge on the nitrogens. See if that works. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. And then 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. 6 plus, 6 minus, that adds up to 0. That's a net charge of 0. So this is the correct formula for copper 2 nitride. Let's clean it up. Get rid of the charges. And there you have it, the formula for copper 2 nitride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.